right now I'm on my way to see a familiar face, but even though I know Pam from Edgar's Mission quite well, the problem she's called me in for is apparently like nothing else I've ever seen before. Chris has been called to a special animal sanctuary on the outskirts of Melbourne. G'day Pam. Howdy. To meet a fugitive in trouble. How are you going? Good to see you. Now, a sheep. You've got to see this one, Chris. He's like nothing you've ever seen before. Mm. Poor fellow, he's only just come to us, yep. and we really need your help because we've got to get him the best welfare outcome. He's, he's in a bit of a bad way. Let's have a look at him. Where okay, is he? he's over here. Oh, yep. <laughs> He'll pick straight it up away. straight away, yeah. yeah. Look at the size of it. When I first see this sheep, all I see is a big round mound of wool with a little face in the front. So where did he come from? Legend has it that he survived the 2009 bushfires that, um, in Kilmore East, um, and he's just been roaming through the bush since then. So he's escaped shearing for, what, at least five years. Yeah, it's amazing that he's alive today. It's extraordinary he can even walk around with that amount of wool on. It is, and you can see he's having a little bit of trouble walking there. I mean, the worry I have is that he could have any sort of problem lurking underneath that wall. I mean, fly strike, any sort of skin infection in there. So really, before we even think about shearing, we need to work out whether he can handle shearing. Let's have a look at him. OK, as you can see, our friend down here. Yeah. His name's Ben Hall, and he's certainly a bit of a bush ranger. This sheep is named after a famous Australian bush ranger, Ben Hall, who evaded capture for years and years and actually lived in this local area. You OK if I grab him? Yeah, you hop in there. Ben Hall, the bush ranger, was eventually captured and justice was delivered. Catching this Ben Hall could prove to be even more difficult. Well, it's Ben 1, Chris 0. Oh. <laughs> I just think two people, to be honest, aren't quite enough. At Edgar's mission, Chris has met his match. He's trying to capture the infamous Ben Hall. I've been beaten. The wily fugitive sheep has spent five years on the run after fleeing devastating bushfires. It's not that I couldn't catch him, it's just that I thought it would be easier <laughs> and quicker we didn't want Chris to, to have, have you guys. Ben is limping under the weight of his heavy fleece, and Chris is concerned the thick matted wool could be causing other health problems. With five years of wool growth on top of Ben, there could be just about anything lurking underneath that fleece, from bacterial infections to parasite infestations. He could even be fly-blown. Good job. Putting the cuffs on now. I know, it's like the law finally caught up with Ben Hall. Chris, Pam and the boys now need to move their captive to the shed. Yep, yep. let's go. So we'll walk him. Oh, he's bucking it, isn't it? But Ben's not going anywhere without a fight. OK, buddy. OK, Ben. Let's just go with it now. OK, what? Ben Hall is an incredible miracle. He's a testament to the will to live. It's amazing. He's, he's now taking three of us for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> just like you and I would try and survive the best we could out in the wild, Ben Hall has done that and he's done it admirably. But his time was up. I'm going to try the impossible here. He's got, you know, a foot of wool there. And that must be pulling on his skin too, yeah. mustn't it, poor fellow? I couldn't believe when I put my hand in, it was the length of my arm, that much wool. That, that is an incredible amount of wool for a sheep to have when considering we shear them, it's about that much wool. I'm trying to listen through a lot of wool, but I can just make out his, his heartbeat there. So, I mean, it's certainly elevated. He, just everyday life for him is, is a stress at the moment. So let's shear him. OK, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Fiercely protective Pam can't relax. She's now worried about how Ben will cope with being shorn. Look, the worst case scenario with these sheep is that they could suffer a heart attack because of the stress that they're under. We're lucky that we've got Chris on hand to monitor him throughout the procedure. I wouldn't have peace of mind if we didn't have that happening today. How are you? Hey. Shearer. Hey, Tony, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. You want a hand with that? Um, if you can grab my toolbox, that'd be good, thank you. Yeah. Shearer Tony Adams has now arrived right. to give runaway sheep Ben Hall his much-needed haircut. Ever seen that much wool? No. 
with four or five years on you. Yeah, that's all we think. We are very, very fussy with anyone who is allowed near our animals, and we have the most wonderful shearer that we've found who is very gentle and compassionate with our sheep. It should be right to tip him. Hello, mate. So you want to grab them all by yourself? Yep. Tony weighs about half of what I do, but seems to have about three times the skill when it comes to catching sheep, because he goes pretty close to nabbing Ben all by himself. Usually, if you tilt the head one way, roll him his back end. Yep. <laughs> Not a good look. That's right. Um, Pam? Yep? It's quickly becoming obvious why Ben has been so hard to subdue. He's a ram. He's um he's all man. The first thing we notice the moment Ben goes onto his back, well it's hard to ignore. He has enormous testicles. Wow, that's uh that's quite something. Most lambs have something called lamb marking, where they're castrated, they're given an ear tag, they're drenched, they get the full works. Obviously Ben wasn't around for that day. He escaped with everything intact. See that? Another month and that'll be fly struck. Yeah. All through here. You're lucky, mate. He's always going to find this overwhelming. There's just no real other option. Shearing isn't just like a simple haircut. For a sheep, it's a full-on audiovisual experience. The stress of those sounds and being forced into a new position for that period of time, it can be enough to cause a heart attack, which can kill him. Give me a quick little check halfway through now, mate. Just... At Edgar's mission, Chris is closely monitoring Ben Hall to make sure the shock of a long overdue shearing doesn't lead to a heart attack. For an animal like him, who's a prey animal, to be held in a strain and not be able to move, that's one step away from being eaten by a predator. So it's incredibly stressful for the animal. Okay. He's coping. Yep. All right. He's coping better than me. I'm very stressed. I can tell. <laughs> Do I put it on you as well? Tony is struggling to remove five years' worth of heavy matted wool. The biggest challenge that Tony's facing is the weight of that fleece is pulling on the skin. Each time it pulls the skin out, it means that those shears of Tony's all too easily nick the skin. It's the unfortunate byproduct of how much wool Ben's carrying. Wow. Amazing job. I hope you feel better, mate. That's a great outcome. Oh, he's having a wee. Probably never felt so easy, has it? That's right, yeah. Wow. Once Tony is finished, the pile of wool is bigger than Ben. And Ben's not a small sheep, so it's time to weigh it. <laughs> he was carrying that around. <laughs> it's no that. wonder he's fit. Yeah. You got any scales, Pam? There you go. Almost 18 kilos. Not bad. Is that your biggest ever? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's definitely a good boy. With Ben's excess wool removed, Chris is anxious to investigate what's causing his nasty limp. Got just strong. <laughs> Come here, buddy boy. Yeah, you can see he's oh. not liking that. You're coping well. Oh, it's OK. Settle down. I mean, immediately he's actually quite hesitant about me grabbing this leg. At Edgar's mission, Chris is trying to pinpoint the cause of Ben Hall's painful limp. So he's got some arthritis in this, this elbow joint of his. Right. Now, that could be the result of an injury he's picked up or it could be wear and tear. I'd say it's probably a little bit of both. With dogs and cats, what we say with arthritis is get them to lose weight. Yeah. He just lost 18 kilos. Yeah. So he's going to immediately feel better on that leg. Yeah. Because he's not having to carry the weights around. With the additional help of an anti-inflammatory, Ben's limp should soon be a thing of the past. He's been through an enormous ordeal today, an enormous ordeal. But he's one tough sheep. He's probably the toughest sheep you'll ever meet, out Ben Hall. It's going to look like a purple Dalmatian. To finish, Chris is applying antiseptic spray to help heal Ben's skin and prescribing some extra special TLC. So he's pretty close to being back on track now. His life's taken a dramatic change. Yeah. The one thing I'd recommend, though, is that 
he stays in here for the next couple of days. Yeah. It, it, it would be like right now for him taking a kid from the deserts of Australia and oh. all of a sudden he's gone to, gone to Antarctica. Yeah, wow. Well, oh. It seems ridiculous because it's, it's quite mild right now. Yeah. But for him, that's just been a huge change. While being Sean does seem like the end of Ben Hall's criminal ways, I wouldn't be so sure. It's been a real team effort. Yeah. But I think our fugitive <laughs> is going to be feeling fine. I mean, he's already... He's raring to go. <laughs> yeah. I'd be reinforcing the fences at Edgar's mission because this guy knows how to escape. He likes his freedom. He'll be looking for it again.